think he's actually ever going to stop. Hi guys and hey. welcome to another episode of True Review. Today we are going to review Concussion, the new yes. film starring Will Smith, Alec Baldwin and Juju Mbatha. Raw. Her name is Juju. <laughs> Black magic. So this film follows Dr. Bennett Omalu. Your African accent's worse than Will Smith's, <laughs> mate. Dr. Bennett Omalu from yeah. Enugu, Nigeria. He did actually say he was from Enugu <laughs> State. <laughs> That's where we're from, guys. Yeah. He basically discovers that NFL has been covering up brain injuries to their players over the years. And effectively, these brain injuries are leading to their death. I actually loved the story. I learned a Likewise. lot from watching the film. I thought it was very informative. The character development was good. Yeah. However, let's talk about the start of the film, Will Smith. I feel like Will Smith has brainwashed us into believing that he's a really good actor when he actually is quite average at everything that he does. His acting career has been phenomenal, but these last couple of years, his accents has been, they've been average. I can't lie. Was have that... you seen I Am Legend? Okay, yeah, but I said have his recent Have you seen films. Pursuit of Happiness? Okay, have you seen After Earth? Let's not go. His recent films, <laughs> <laughs> his recent <laughs> films have been lackluster. They've been le leaving me thinking, where is the Will Smith I remember from my childhood? This is not the same actor. Okay, I feel like he's, he's gotten lazy and he keeps doing this like poo face acting. <laughs> I call it uh, poop face. Uh, it's like that? you you know when an actor forces emotion but everything just ends up looking like they just smell poo. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's it like? <laughs> Watch the trailer, you will see it. Poo face acting. I quinned it. <laughs> I kept being thrown out by the really, really terrible accent. From my perspective, because I'm a Nigerian, it, I just couldn't get past it. Every time I tried to get into the film, it was like, mate, it would have been better if you just did an American accent because yeah. you sound Jamaican. Like, where yeah. did you get this from? Maybe someone who's not Nigerian, who doesn't really know what the accent is supposed to sound like, maybe that wouldn't have bugged them so much and you could possibly enjoy the film. I love this movie. I did. I, unlike Precious here, was able to see through the off accent every now and again because it wasn't. It wasn't. He got that. one word right, one sentence. Sorry, no, where he said, um, "That's my office." <laughs> that was the only part of the film. I thought, I thought it was actually pretty decent, and I felt that there were definitely some parts where it slipped a little bit, but for the most part, I thought it was okay. Another thing I really, really enjoyed about this movie was, although it was quite long, I felt like. It warranted the length. The acting was tremendously good. It it really, really did grip me. You're currently brainwashed by No, 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 I'm not. So <laughs> when I see him cry, like, I just think, man, pursuit of happiness. Even back to, like, that scene in Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince of Bel Air. Oh, oh my God. God. And that's what it brought me back to. It was just so intense and so powerful from Will Smith. The only person who just made me just want to gouge my eyeballs <laughs> was Alec Baldwin. What? Oh my god, this guy cannot act. I don't think Alec Baldwin can act, but I think he can no, bring he I, I think he can bring Alec Baldwin to a film. It's, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what Alec Baldwin is anymore. I don't know what it's meant to be. <laughs> when I see him in such a dramatic and powerful movie, it just didn't make sense. So last thing I just want to speak about on this movie, it's not so much about the movie but more about the impact this movie had on us. This is a true story, right? Mm -hmm. You know, very similar to the infamous cigarette company case where they got sued for misinterpretation of kind of the health repercussions of smoking cigarettes mm -hmm. and we've had this NFL situation and we just had the Super Bowl like <laughs> like last week and I just think people are not gonna stop playing football people are not gonna stop wanting to watch football just because the players could end I up get you know, that. I get that I get that but I mean one. I don't I'm, I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of American football. I don't watch mm -hmm. a ton of it, so I don't know if things have actually changed from back when, mm. you know, this whole scandal happened. But the happened. problem is not much can change. It's the nature of the sport, unfortunately. So, unless you are going to stop the whole sport, I mean, it's a contact sport. That's what they do. I mean, this thing probably happens in rugby as well. I guess so. No one mentions that, but, you know, rugby probably more so because they're completely unprotected. <laughs> they're just a dumb species. But, I mean, I don't know. Guys, what do you think? Do you think we're dumb? Do you think, you know, we should boycott <laughs> NFL? I don't know. Leave a comment below. I'm interested to see what you guys think. Finally, what I wanted to discuss as well was the fact that this film was the film that started the whole debate about there wasn't enough black people nominated in this yeah. year's Oscars and last yeah. year's Oscars. And to be honest, I don't think it deserved 
to, to be nominated it in any way, shape, or, or form. No. So I think it's kind of interesting that we're getting a lot of attention for the wrong movie, when really I think the movie that should have been nominated was Creed. Deadpool. <laughs> As you can tell, we're split. I think this movie was, was actually pretty, pretty damn good. So I am going to give this a 7 out of 10. I definitely wouldn't skip it. I'd go catch it on the weekend. I am going to rate this film a 5 out of 10. Oh, God I thought damn. it was completely, completely average. I would not like... <laughs> Like rush to the cinema to watch it. You probably watch it at home or on TV when it Damn. comes out. Cinema ain't cheap, you know. It's fifteen quid. I would be upset if I paid fifteen pound to watch that film. Damn, if, Damn. I, like, if we actually paid to see that, I think you would have liked it less. Have a watch. See what you think. Whether you watch it in the cinemas or you watch it at home, comment below. Let us know what you thought about the movie. Tell us who's right because we're split. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Peace. <laughs>